Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you might all know by seeing the thumbnail and the title what this video is going to be about. And you might be always checking out my new backdrop. Actually it's not a backdrop. Uh, I am... Uh -oh. I thought of this idea that is the desk makeover idea for a very long time i wanted to do this for a very long time but it took me forever to start doing it actually and today in this video i will walk you through all the steps uh, what all i have done to put up this beautiful space which i've created for myself firstly i had this table where i used to dump each and everything on this table like any random thing i use on daily basis i should just dump things on it once I came up with the idea, the first and foremost thing I needed to do was to clean up that space which I kept cluttered. Like I used to clean now and then but then you know how it goes. Then there were few stickers which I had uh, put on the wall. So I took them off and cleaned the space. After cleaning that table, my next aim was to paint that table white. It had a pr primer coat on it earlier se, pehle se. I wanted it to coat like paint it by myself. You know, I like doing things by myself. It makes me feel good. Amazing. So that is how I uh, thought of painting that table. I cleaned the table of all the dust and everything. I bought the Asian paint, the paint for to paint on wooden surface. I bought it from the local market. I painted the table. It took me half an hour to paint the table but it took more than one day for the first coat to dry up because of the inconsistent weather which was going down at the beginning of this year. It took almost uh, three coats and almost a week for me to complete the painting. Once the major painting thing of the table was over, the next thing was I had to paint an old study lamp which was at my place. Pehle se only. I wanted to paint it out very beautifully the first thing was i took that lamp i cleaned it off all the dust i had bought this metal paint from the local store again the blue one because it would go with my whole uh, look or my room so i just painted that uh, it took almost within a night it dried up so the painting situation the painting of the table and the lamp was over once this was done my next part was to have a beautiful back support or the wall drop which should look more beautiful so i love white that is why i wanted this brick wallpaper from a very long time so i ordered this white brick wallpaper 3d brick wallpaper from the amazon it is a very beautiful one i will link the product in my description box if you want one for yourself you can go buy it over there because the quality of this product was very good uh, the wall the everything has a very good finish that is how I purchased it online uh, the next thing was to apply this wallpaper to the wall if I would apply these wallpaper as it is there would be a demarcation line in between uh, the two wallpapers because of that demarcation line I needed to, to cut out the edge surfaces so that they fit in together because that would give a clean finish to the whole wall thing i took out the markings of the wall actually i ordered five wallpapers but four wallpapers was enough for this size as i cut those surfaces and adjusted them they were very minute gaps in between which i painted with the acrylic the normal acrylic paints which we have i painted it with white so that there are no gaps and it should not be seen and it should have a very clean and beautiful perfect finish for that wall with the help of my cousin i put up this wallpaper uh, once the main painting the table the wall drop was done the major things were done uh, the next thing was uh, as i did not apply this wallpaper to the whole wall of my room it had an abrupt cut to that i wanted it to look like a frame that is when i came up with the idea of putting the yellow lights across the border which will make it look more authentic more good and 
it gave a very nice look i thought of it and i went to the nearby local market i purchased these yellow lights I, it cost me around 35 rupees per meter i took 10 meters of it so i with the help of my friend again i put the yellow lights across the wall this is how it looked after the light thing i wanted add some greens to look more authentic more good to have that uh, greens into the frame that is when i purchased these uh, artificial leaves uh, money plant leaves from the amazon i will link it in the description for 299 rupees i got five strings which were very long enough and of good quality and they looked more natural uh, i uh, purchased them and i put it on top of the uh, that frame which I had created into the inverted L shape to look more uh, raw and good feeling. It came, the look was complete. It was giving me a whole finished look. That is how I had visioned it and that is what I had got. And as the border, the wall drop and the table, everything was done. The next thing was the wall was looking a little bit of pale thing, nothing much going on top of it. That is when I had to purchase this grid thing i wanted to have one of these from a very long time because i like making a vision board i believe in manifestation so this is something which i really wanted from a very long time and i had been postponing like i like let me buy later so i from a very long time i wanted it then i thought why not and i purchased it from amazon this was a set which I purchased. I will link it in the description. It's a very good one. You can buy the size, the metal, everything is of good quality. With the help of the white thread, I put up this uh, grid. I had few cutouts, few uh, motivational quotes and pictures which I printed up from uh, earlier. I put them with the clips over there. And uh, these very small lights, fairy kind of lights, uh, I purchased him again it cost me just 50 rupees the grid cost me around 699 rupees so once the back thing was complete next was the table the things which go on top of the table so I wanted it to be very minimal I didn't want it to put lot and lot of things on top of the table on the table I wanted it to be minimal so I placed a lamp which I painted earlier a, a, a table a, a desktop uh, clock which i had uh, earlier say i did not put any money into that that and next i uh, the stickers placed and uh, i had this diy made calendar which i had done a few days back this was done by me because uh, this looked very cute the angry bird thing going on so i placed it uh, here the next thing was an organizer. I wanted an organizer where I can put all my pens and it to look good. Uh, we own a stationery shop. So there I had these pen stands which I bought to home and uh, with some of the modifications with painting it and making a normal pen stands into a double organizer. Uh, I made this organizer by myself and this is how it looked. I really loved it. It went with the whole white thing. Uh, so that's it I placed that and I had this a uh, simple small um, pen uh, like stand from earlier it was a gift from my friend so this is how I placed it very simple minimal look and my laptop which I use for my daily use so this is how it came out I really love doing it every part of it and once it came out together it looked so beautiful I was satisfied I was really satisfied so uh, i hope you enjoyed watching this and have a minute of the space which i created of this so this is how it looked
that was all about my desk makeover video i hope you loved it i hope you bought or you got some useful information uh, of making such space for yourself don't forget to subscribe share and like you know the drill that's all you i need you to do for me so thank you bye